The main test playing nations have always claimed they own cricket. Other places weren't real cricket countries. But Ireland never cared. People kept playing the game. WG Grace played Ireland twice and also in Ireland. Sachin Dindulka was bowled in Belfast. In Ireland and Northern Ireland, pick, pack, pock, puck could be heard. Colin Farrell hit fours well before he played away games in Bruges. International pop sensations Jedwood were cricketers. And Samuel Beckett played two first class games, making 35 runs and taking no wickets. Most countries decided to rebel against England by beating them at cricket. Ireland rebelled by all but banning anything bar Gaelic sports. Their Prime Minister, Amon de Valera, was once said to have dropped a cricket bat when a photographer came over because he was worried about what cricket would do to his reputation. But even with their own country ignoring them, island cricketers remain. In 1904, Ireland beat South Africa. In 1928, they beat the West Indies. And in 1969, they dismissed the West Indies for 25. But mostly they played against Scotland, playing an intense rivalry that most of the cricket world knew little about. In 1990, players still had to pay for their own sweaters. But they kept playing. The Irish women played their only test in 2000. They won easy. It was the World Cup that gave them hope. Other teams had used World Cup wins to play tests. Ireland beat Pakistan and Bangladesh. They beat England and then Zimbabwe and the West Indies. Ireland were the most successful non-test playing nation ever. Then cricket politics happened. The Irish just kept playing cricket. But not always for Ireland. But now the politics have changed. Ireland always was a cricket country. Now, they're a test nation.